Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Yasser Ahmed. So we will continue with the Vector video playlist and we're going to be looking at using Adobe Illustrator today. And in particular, we're going to be focusing on using a Shape Builder tool. So we're going to have something that looks like this. Um, if I just go down to the very bottom. So by combining a number of shapes together, we're going to create uh, this picture here. So this is going to be a picture of the park with a uh, a backdrop of some buildings um, and then sky and the sun and you can see here we have the grass in the front for the park so let's go ahead and start this okay so we're going to be using the shape builder tool to create this particular graphic um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create this circle here okay so um, set up a new canvas a new stage click on the shape tool click on the ellipse tool and then click here and then what I would like to do is just have a circle of 20 centimeters um, height and a width. So let me just type in here 20 cm. 20 uh, cm. Press OK. And this will do. Yeah. Just move that into the middle. Okay. What is it that we need to do next? So I've got my shape. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is draw this shape in front. So it's going to be a rectangle shape. And then we're going to cut off these parts here. So you can see we're going to use a shape builder tool to cut off the ends of this rectangle. Okay, so let's go back and get that done. Uh, so let's click down, click on the rectangle tool. I'm going to change the fill now to like a light gray color. And what we can do is just draw ourselves a nice rectangle like this. Okay, so now we use this tool here, the Shape Builder tool. And if I press down on Alt, you can see right now it's a plus. If I press down on Alt, that changes to a negative. And we want to basically draw over the part which we want to get rid of. So this part. Now, before we do that, we need to highlight. Oops, let me just do that again. All of the shapes. So you highlight all of the shapes. And now you can see the circle here in the background. And then we go to the Shape Builder tool. And if you press Alt, we can remove part of this rectangle here. Um, let's do that again. So press Alt, so this becomes a negative, and you can remove this part here. Okay, so we've basically drawn a rectangle and we've moved the top and bottom of the rectangle. So it's basically part of the shape um, of a circle now. So yeah, so press Alt and then draw a line over the parts you want to remove. Okay, the next part that we need to do is we need to draw a rectangle here, okay? And we want to basically have another circle at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click on a circle. Actually, no, what I'm going to do is press Alt on a circle and move it here, okay? And then we're going to move this one to, to one side. So if you press over a shape and press Alt, it makes another copy for you. What we want to do in the next part, if we go back to the PDF, is we're going to draw a rectangle. And then we'll get rid of the bottom part of the rectangle. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's just change the color. That will do and highlight both the shapes and then what we want to do is remove this part of the circle so again we can use a shape builder tool uh, we can press alt so it's a negative now and draw a line over the parts you want to remove okay so we have this one this might be the sky so let's see what we're going to be doing okay so what we want to do is we want to have something that looks like this now, okay? And we need to now arrange some of these shapes in a particular order. So some will be brought to the front, some will be uh, sent to the back. So what we should have is something that looks like this. So the new shape we've just created, that will be the sky, okay? The original circle shape will be the grass. And then this 
shape here will be like a path but you'll notice uh, some of it will be disappearing because the sky will be placed above the path okay so let's see if we can make something like this then okay so before we start um what i need to do is change the color of this whoops not that highlight this shape and let's click on the color options and choose a sky color i think that will do and if i click like this guys you can also arrange the layers the sub layers like this as well you can right click you can say uh, you can bring it to the front or you can drag this to the top okay what i'm going to do next is this one here the bottom circle we want this to be part of the grass so let me just move this inside now yeah i'll leave it there it looks like this is going to be like a grass color green color like that that will do and then this shape here since it's been placed at the top if i bring it like this over There we go. Just highlight everything and bring it here. So if I was to click on this shape here, we can bring this forward to the top. And you see it switches here as well. So you can go to layers and you can either use this option here or you can just drag the sky to the top. Okay, we've done that. Let's go ahead and see what's next. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're just going to draw um, something using the, the pen tool and the curvature tool, something we've done in the past. So I'm going to make something that looks like a tree and a cloud. Okay, so um, and what we're going to do is we're going to do it along, along the bottom here. So I want like a brown color for the tree trunk. I think that's close enough. Okay, and then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to change this color to like a dark green. There we go. That's, uh, we're going to use the pen tool initially to draw the top part of the tree. So we'll do it to one side. And if you want to use the curve tool at any point, you can do. Okay, so if I go to curvature, and if I zoom in a little bit, we can bend this slightly if you wanted to. If you're happy with this, then we can leave it as it is. So we're using a range of tools in this tutorial here. There we go, I think that will do. Use a selection tool and place this on top here. So that's a nice tree, happy with that. And what I'm going to do next, if I look at my PDF, is I'm going to place a tree. Okay, then we're going to draw ourselves a cloud as well. Okay, so let me just uh, zoom back out slightly. Highlight the tree using the selection tool. Uh, we can place a tree like that. Okay, again, using a pen tool, we're now going to make a, a gray cloud. So again, just click make a fluffy cloud there we go that's meant to be my cloud and then you can just uh, zoom in on what we're doing let's make it a bit curvier if you want cut this out a little bit okay there we go. It's up to you how you want to do this. Right, so there's my cloud. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. Maybe along the bottom, this one. Oh, do you know what? I'll leave as it is. So what I'm going to do is I want to place this cloud on this picture, but it has to be pl placed behind the tree. Okay, so one way of doing this is um, just clicking on here. And you can just click on the range and bring to front. There we go. Okay, get in there. So the next thing is we want to draw the sun. 
So let's change the color to like a yellow. That's going to be the sun. And we're going to use the Shape Builder tool again. So initially, the sun is going to be like this. Uh, what we want to do is highlight all of these shapes and then again use the shape builder tool press alt and we just draw a line over the part that we want to remove okay done yep so you can see I've drawn a line and we've removed that part okay now the last part is we need to draw some buildings at the back okay and then we'll use the shape builder tool as well to uh, combine or remove some elements okay um, right so what we're going to do is we'll come down here and we'll use a rectangle tool we'll just make the shapes the buildings be like a dark gray uh, we can use the pen tool as well actually Finish doing it in a second, you'll see what I'm doing is there we go. So you could have used the pen tool, you could have used uh, uh, the rectangle tool, it's up to you. Now what I'm going to do is use this tool here, change it to a slightly different colour so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, again, let's select everything here. Go to the Shape Builder tool. Press Alt. Just basically want to get rid of this yellow. See how that looks? So you've got a curve there, also this yellow here. Okay, and there we go. Right, so now what we need to do is this needs to be placed behind the tree. And what I'm going to do is move the cloud actually slightly. So let me just uh, click on the cloud. Let's move that here. We have, we're going to put a cloud behind the sun. It's fine. If you want to in front of the sun, you can just right click, arrange, bring to the front. It's up to you what you want to do. Yeah, I think that's fine. And let's highlight all of this. Make it a little bit smaller, just drag it in. If you want to press shift, you can maintain the aspect ratio. And we can put this maybe here. Like this. And then what you can do is bring the tree to the front. Okay, so in this tutorial, guys, what we've looked at is we've looked at the Shape Builder tools, uh, which can be used to create random shapes. We can combine shapes together. Um, we've made use of the layers as well and the sub layers. Uh, we've basically positioned items to either appear at the front or behind um, a particular shape. So, for example, if I wanted um, this path here, to be in front of everything i can simply drag this to the top layer you can see it goes over everything but that's not what we want so we can drag that back down so it be just over the grass and then the sky which is this layer here you can hide the layers um, is over uh, the path okay so you can lock layers as well so if you want to uh, keep something you can see i'm moving the bottom shape but that sky shapes not moving control Z just to undo okay um, so just before we finish uh, shape build is great for making new shapes by combining and erasing parts of similar ones thank you guys for watching this tutorial please join me in the next video and uh, hopefully I'll be making another uh, video on how to use Adobe Illustrator to create vector graphics okay thank you for your time please like and share and drop your comments below thank you bye bye